Today we are here at a Snip and Tip Clinic, which is a TNR clinic for community um, and feral cats. So what we're doing is we're taking cats that live outside and we're bringing them in so that they get spayed or neutered, vaccinated, combo tested, microchipped, the whole gamut um, to make sure they're healthy to either return to the outside area where they live or they can be adopted. The whole goal of what we're doing is to try to decrease the cat, the feral cat population in a humane manner. And Show Your Soft Side gives us an opportunity to not only be able to get them spayed and neutered, but to also get them medical care. Like I have Chongus here today who's missing an eye and he's going to get uh, medical care now through the Street Kitty Fund. And we wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't have Show Your Soft Side. Show Your Soft Side is an immense help to the community of people who do TNR, uh, colony caretakers and rescue organizations. When Show Your Soft Side started in 2011, we started as an anti-cruelty campaign. So we were developing materials such as posters and billboards where children would see their idols, so whether it was athletes or actors, interacting with puppies and kittens to show them that it's cool to be kind to animals. Um, we noticed in 2011 that there were a rash of cruelty cases in Baltimore City especially that were perpetrated by children. It became really important for us to give them good role models that also loved cats and dogs. So now we have, uh, I don't even know how many softies at this point, but every person that models in one of those campaigns, we label a softie. They run from a ton of ravens because obviously we're close to home in Baltimore, but we have actors such as Kaylee Cuoco, um, John Bernthal was in, we've had a bunch of rock stars and all kinds of different people that are just softies helping us spread that campaign message. The first three people is myself, uh, Adam Jones that used to play for the Orioles and uh, Jarrett Johnson used to play for the Ravens. And um, you know, they used us and our pictures holding our pets to show that it's proper to take care of your animals. And uh, you know, the slogan was, it's uh, only a punk would hurt a cat or a dog. It's an amazing thing they're doing here at Homeward Bound. I'm, uh, you know, I'm grateful for people and uh, that will dedicate their time like this. Well, we always look for volunteers. Um, you know, we, we have those of us that go out into the field to trap, and then we um, always need fosters, we always need adopters, transporters, anything. I mean, anybody could, to, could find a spot to, to volunteer. It's always helpful to have volunteers. Our largest way that we can be assisted is through fundraising, whether that's Facebook fundraisers or s sending out a happy hour that's gonna get funds for us. Um, in addition to that, we also take donations. So anything from a corporate perspective, or even if you got a Christmas gift last year that you didn't necessarily like that's new in the box, we'll take that too and use it for our auctions. Um, attend events, and we also have a whole volunteer system where you can volunteer with Softside to sell merch at events or come to Snip and Tip Clinic. Uh, we have a lot of ways for people to get involved. I'm a volunteer, um, that, and I have been for a couple of years now. They are, will welcome you in with open arms. Once I got involved with this, it, it kind of just like, it really hit me like, hey, this is, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is what's important and you know, not everyone's going to think it's important, but that's fine because it's important to you and you know you're making a difference. With Softside, we have a group of people that we go out and we trap them. If we find out that they're injured, um, we get them help medically at the vet. And, um, and then sometimes those cats are adopted out um, if they're friendly and then if not, they're returned to their colony, but at least they are medically treated. We got 45 cats in, um, in 2022, whether it was trap, new to release, or we like trapped them and then got them into rescue. So I set a goal of, hey, let's do 50 in 2023. Um, we doubled that. We did 100 cats last year. The sheer volume of what we do in terms of our programs makes such a greater impact um, than traditional animal rescue can. So I always use the, you know, down the creek idea, right? Is you can keep pulling people out of the creek as they've fallen in, but it really makes sense to figure out why they're falling in in the first place. And a lot of our soft side programs are organized to fix that. So for example, our Street Kitty Medical Fund, which is why we're here today, um, we started just fixing injuries in street cats. If they had injuries or illness, we would treat it. And then ultimately became, well, why are these cats injured all the time? Oh, it's because they're fighting because they're unneutered or not spayed. So then we added a TNR clinic so that we could spay and neuter those cats. So we really look to focus on the cause of the issue and help support that.